Hey everybody, Larry McCarron and the Boy Wonder, Weston Hotkowitz. Two guys with three things from the NFL's annual meetings. Wes, you are up. For the past three days, Larry, we've talked to Brian Gutekunst, we've talked to Matt LaFleur, and yourself talking to Mark Murphy. The big message that's really been hit home is the fact that the offseason is not over. I know there are a lot of Packer fans out there being like, how are we going to replace Devontae Adams, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Zadarius Smith? And all three of those guys really did lay it out in terms of there's still a long way to go on this journey. 11 draft picks. We still have some stages of free agency. And when you look at what the Packers did last year with Devondre Campbell and Dennis Kelly, they made moves late into the summer. So I know it's going to be a scary time, you know, being able to kind of move on and, and being able to evolve your team. But it's something the Green Bay Packers have been ready for, and they're prepared to march into 2022. Wes, two things I didn't know before coming to this meeting. One, Matt LaFleur is an enormous Milwaukee Bucks fan. Not only the plays and the players and the coaches, but the way they go about their business of basketball. A huge fan. And the other thing I didn't know before coming here to beautiful Palm Beach was that Bill Belichick can dance. Wes, <laughs> do you have anything else? That's very true. Overtime, it's a big deal right now. I mean, this is something that I think a lot of people were wondering, was there gonna be enough momentum to put that change over the top where both teams are now guaranteed a possession in the playoffs, and it did. I mean, and overwhelmingly so. The Green Bay Packers, I don't wanna bring up bad memories here, but 2014, 2015 playoffs, they didn't get a second possession in those overtime. You just did. I did, I really did. But now teams are gonna be assured of that. Obviously it switches to a sudden death format after that. It does change the strategy, but I think in the long run, it's gonna be a change for the better in the postseason. Thank you, Weston, and that's two guys with three things. See you next time.